And Governor, you said today at a press conference, vaccine providers may choose to prioritize higher risk older Coloradans when you open up the new wave of vaccinations, vaccinations to people next Monday. Nurse named Corrine Kreitzer wonders, why not require that vaccine providers continue to prioritize people 70 plus while they open up eligibility? Sure. So let me let me be clear about why uh, on February 8th we're expanding the eligibility to people age 65 and up. It's because at that point, knowing what we know about the number of vaccines we have, we won't have enough people 70 and up left that want the vaccine to fill up using all of that vaccines in every part of the state. There are parts of our state communities that have already effectively inoculated everybody 70 and up in the community. Other communities are not quite there. Uh, it might take a few weeks to get there, but we need that flexibility to have a broader pool. Here's what would happen if we didn't do that. If we stayed with 70 and up till February 20th or the end of February, we would simply not be able to administer as many vaccines as we could by expanding that group. So there's a plus and a minus to everything. Expanding the group leads to more people who might be frustrated that it's another week or two, but not expanding it from a public health perspective means a slowing rate of immunization because once you reach that 50, 60 percent of people age 70 and up, which we will reach right around February 8th, there are still people 70 and up that will, will want it and get it the week after that, the week after that. But there's not that flood of people that will allow us to fully deploy every vaccine the state receives within three days, which is our overarching guidance so that we can end the pandemic as quickly as possible.